Let's take a look at our second oh my gosh story. Boy, am I stupid. Oh my gosh. I must be the last naive person left on the face of the earth. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how the Stel Talmadge students, real nice kids, and the Talmadge High School, real nice administrators, had uh, been at odds over the Valentine's Day dance, which would have been scheduled for tonight, a lovely Saturday night at the new Talmadge High School. But because there was some improper behavior in November at a dance, the Talmadge uh, uh, administration, who was very nice, and, and hey folks, you got to be strict today, they said we don't want any of that freaky sex dancing where the girls who are so sexually active and loose and whore and tart-like, and the boys who are over-genetically stimulated by the crap they see on MTV, they place each other in a position that is simulated sex acts on the dance floor. And the school said, you know, we just are too quality a community. We don't need that around here. Let them do that in the booga booga communities, which is a proper expression today. Um, so the school said, if you want to have your Valentine's dance, you have to agree to these things. And the students, uh, I think there was the student said it said no, and the student said no. So the dance was called off because the students wouldn't agree to proper dress, proper behavior, or proper dancing. So then I read recently in the paper, boy, am I stupid, that the parents had rented out a skating rink and were going to have a nice, uh, sec you know, an alternative activity uh, the kids would be invited by to skate, I thought. Well, that's not what I was told this morning by the Talmadge parents who disagree with what's going on. Apparently, the Talmadge parents, uh, uh, Talmadge parents are going around the school. Oh, yeah, well, we, we don't need your stinking rules. We're friends of our children. We're not parents. We're the friends of our children. So we rented out the skating rink so they can have a freak dance or a rave, R-A-V-E, or some kind of, well, we hired security. We're going to let the kids dance because we know what's best, not you school people. So here's the school trying to keep the children of the parents in question to behave in a proper behavior, proper dress, proper dancing, and the parents are saying, well, that's pretty outrageous. We want our kids to be popular. We don't want to be parents. We want to be friends of our children. So according to the Talmadge parents who I talked to this morning, boy, was I stupid. I thought they were going to have a nice skating activity. No, they're planning to have a freak dance. Now, if that's not true, I'd like to have somebody tell me about it. So that's subject number two. We don't want to be parents. We want to be friends and have our children be popular. The school knows what's best for your children. Now you listen to the school. Moving on, we got tons of subjects here. Let's pick up the pace. Uh, the Democratic liberals are not pleased with what Obama has been doing in the first three weeks. He didn't end the war. He didn't make the economy turn around, and he's been too friendly with Republicans, and the liberal Democrats hate it all. And the Democratic panelists on MSNBC said, what are you doing trying to be friends with the Republicans? Not a single one of them voted for your bill in the House. Then Nancy Pelosi said she couldn't trust Harry Reid, and things just got kind of ugly. And then the Treasury Secretary looked like a 13-year-old boy sweating at his press conference trying to talk about a second bank bailout bill. Well, the liberal Democrats, they don't want to bail out the banks. They want to bail out global warming. So when the liberal Democrats are pressed and they don't like what they see with Obama, they do what they do best. They go on MSNBC and recommend we put the Bush administration on trial. Sure. That's something they like to do. So it's like saying, well, if there is no chocolate, well, I'll have something else. So the liberal Democrats say, well, Obama's administration is getting off on the wrong foot. Let's put Bush on trial. So that's where that is. And then we'll just go one more. Uh, well, let me give you two quickies. What happens when you're a renter renting a lovely home? You pay your rent on time. This is on the front page of the Beacon. And the sheriff's deputy comes to your house and say you got 10 days to get out. Because although you were never told, the house you're renting has been foreclosed on. Ooh, should there be some kind of law that the renter should have some idea of what's going on? 
And then my favorite subject of a nasty nature, but a friendly nature today, the state of Ohio wants to put construction zone cameras. Yes, they do. And I'm looking for my subject matter. I seem to have lost it all. Oh, here it is. They want to put construction cameras. You know, like the red light cameras speeding through the school zone, getting a ticket. They want, you know where it says construction zone, 40 miles an hour, but there's nobody there. So you're going 65. You're going to get a nice ticket. Going to cost you $135. By next year, Ohioans. Driving through a construction zone may have something to watch besides the concrete. Speed zone cameras. I say it should not be permitted to give a speed zone camera ticket through a construction zone unless somebody is actually working. I refuse to slow down in a construction zone. Listen to talk radio, WNIR, how we in the morning, Bob Golick in the car, big Bob Golick in the car. You can monitor my phone calls, I don't really care, Osama's not my roommate, don't give a dime on the rent, I swear, don't give a dime on the rent, I swear, and I can help you find him. Man Bam from Cleveland Brown Stadium for life. I'm sure he's a fine person. Howie WNIR said. Howie WNIR said. We can help you find him. Use Google Earth.com. We made a statement, said linebacker Harrison, who blocked a punt and double tackled a Browns fan who came out on the field. A Browns fan who came out on the field. And we can help you find him. Use Google Earth.com. I listen to talk radio, WNIR, Howie in the morning, Bob Golick 